So the world is still reeling from those horrific terror attacks in New Zealand um, that left 50 people dead. So I want to go straight to Will Carr, who's on the ground in Christchurch, where the suspect has appeared in court. Will? Good morning, Kimberly. Overnight, authorities came out and definitively said there was only one shooter in this attack, the worst terror attack in New Zealand history. That shooter appeared in court over the weekend. His face was blurred per local law, but his alleged crimes are quite clear. Authorities say that he killed 50 people and injured dozens more in the worst attack that this country has ever seen. Uh, as you're walking along, this memorial has continued to grow. It's just one that we've seen here across the city. You can see there are pictures of the victims here. There's a note here. It says we are all one on that blue card right there. Uh, it is really a heartbreaking time for this community. Uh, we saw a number of teenagers come out and they created this paper chain. They put this all up around this entire park area, actually, and you have all these candles right here. There's really a raw sense of emotion that has been pulsating through the heart of this city. Imagine how people in the United States felt after Columbine or after Virginia Tech or after Sandy Hook. Before mass shootings were so common and happened so frequently, that is the type of emotion that we're seeing here in Christchurch. At the same time, there has been a massive push to strengthen the gun laws across the country. The prime minister has come out and said within the next 10 days, she wants stronger laws that could include a ban on semi-automatic rifles. Uh, at the same time with that, there's been a spike in gun sales across the country because many people here are concerned about their gun rights being taken away.